Okay, let's look at question number 21. Uh, they're asking you if the functions are even, odd, or neither. And so I think the best way of explaining is to illustrate what even, what it is an even function, what it is an odd function. So an even function, I think visually it's the easiest way to see this. An even function is like the absolute value function. It's essentially that whatever value I jump to the left or to the right, the y values will be the same. So the question is, when would this occur? Well, I use the example of the absolute value function. Um, this occurs any time you plug in a value into the function, and whether you plug it in as a positive or a negative, you always get the same y value, right? Well, that's going to occur when you have an even function, that's, hence it's called even. So this just means when the exponent is, is some even power, or you have something like the absolute value where whether it's positive or negative, you get the same value. Okay, so if all your answer, if all your, in your polynomial, if you have some polynomial, right, if all the exponents are even, you know it's going to be even. By the way, we could also insert a constant because a constant has an x value with an exponent of zero because anything raised to zero power except for zero is one. Hence, if everything is even, like in B, we know it's even. The function is even. Okay? An odd function is such that whether you make your x value, if you make your x value negative, let's say, then if you make your x value positive, then the y value change. So what this is kind of saying in a nutshell is um, every time if you have some point x, y, if you make one negative, the other one makes it becomes negative, okay? This is to say like if I have a point 1, 2, then the net following point would be negative 1, negative 2. Or if I had the point negative 1, 2, then it would become 1, negative 2. Would be, would be the other point, okay? So this is what, what essentially is going on then, what that means is let's say I give you something like x cubed plus x. So if I make my x values negative, what essentially occurs is that everything changes its value, or you can put a negative sign in front of the original function, okay? And this is, of course, is always going to occur if all of your if all of your uh, exponents are odd. Um, because that just means if I, if I plug in a negative value here and a negative value here, they're just going to change their value, so they're both going to become negative. Okay, So what that means is that if they're all odd, like an A, then the function is odd. Okay, Now, if you have a situation like C where they're alternating, what you can clearly see is this one is going to stay the same and this one is going to change because this this initial term is even and this initial term is odd, right? So you're going to have something that stays the same and then something that changes, which doesn't fit the definition of odd or even. So usually when you have an even and an odd exponent, that just means the function is going to be neither, okay? Now, the, and I'm not going to write this out for everyone, but the traditional way of doing this, let me rewrite the first one, is f of x equals negative x squared. I'm sorry. Is equal to negative x to the fifth plus x cubed. The traditional way is just to replace x with a negative. And this breaks it down such that now you have negative negative x to the fifth plus negative x cubed, or simply the signs change, x to the fifth minus x cubed. And so if I factor a negative out, I get negative x fifth plus x cubed, which is, this is the original green function with a negative sign in front. So we can say, oh, look, it fits this format here where if you make x negative it's the same thing as making the y value negative okay and for the even one I'm not going to write the even one out but for the even one it essentially means that if I made this negative right 
say this, this is the even function, let's say, um, then I would get the original value. And you can see that, that that would just let me end up getting me the same thing because if these are both negative, if you raise it to an even power, they both turn out to be the same exact value. They both become positive. Okay, so I wasn't going to, but might as well just show you here, right? Um, let's do this in yellow. So if I make the x values negative, right, then we know when we square it, it becomes, I'm running out of space, we can put it over here, end up getting x squared minus the absolute value of x. So in other words, I get the same function as what the original function was. Oh, this has plus 1. So I'll just type out a plus 1. But you get the same function. Okay. Um, again, I think the easiest way is if all the exponents are odd, it's odd. If they're all even, remember the absolute value function is even, then it's even. And if you have odd and even, it's neither. Hopefully that makes sense and see you in the next video.